your college posters away. Now. This is 27 Home Decor Hacks Every 20-Something Should Know by Aaron Fry. 1. Use accessories in place of art. With just a few thumbtacks, you can completely change that empty wall you didn't know what to do with or have any money to spend on. It'll also free up some desperately needed closet space. 2. Print out those Instagrams. Instagram is probably where you're documenting your daily life. So print out the photos at Print Studio, $12 for a set of 24, and bask in that Valencia filter. 3. Put a clock on the wall. When your iPhone dies, you should still have a way of telling the time. Because, you know, you're an adult now. 4. Think small. One day you'll have the home office you dream of, but for now you can make do with a small laptop, desk, and chair squeezed in wherever you can find the room. It'll be cozy and still get the job done. 5. Consider hand-me-downs, your BFFs. Parents or friends offering up something for free? Do them and yourself a huge favor and take it off their hands. You'll save money and might enjoy the sentimental value attached from that well-intentioned relative. Just maybe add a slip cover? 6. Upgrade your storage. The cheap boxes you have storing all your odds and ends could use a makeover. Follow the pasted tutorial link inside the info on how to stain them and line the interior with fabric. 7. Don't recreate your dorm room. Yes, it's easy to put that Audrey Hepburn poster up with a thumbtack on your wall, but it's just as easy to upgrade it with this large Audrey Hepburn canvas print. Take some risks in your design and try to explore what aesthetics you really enjoy. 8. Get thrifty. As a 20-something, you're most likely in a transient phase. Save big purchase items for when you're more settled, and just look for inexpensive items at local flea markets and thrift stores for now. And if you're in New York City, be sure to check out curated Craigslist for the best items in your hood. 9. Washi tape is a great alternative to paint. Can't paint because you're renting or subletting? Japanese wallpaper company Sincol has teamed up with Japanese washi tape company MT to release a range of oversized masking tapes specifically for interior use. Choose your favorite design and size at notemaker.com.au. 10. If you're going to splurge, do it with intention. Will that expensive couch you need right now still be something you love in four years? Will it still be in good shape? If so, go for it. But that copper five-piece cookware set in your shared kitchen? Uh, probably not necessary right now. 11. Organize all those cords. Laptop charger, headphones, GPS watch charger, iPhone charger, the list goes on. Don't let all those cords get tangled and take up lots of space when you can craft a cute way to store them. 12. Create multifunctional spaces. If you're living with roommates in a tiny place or in a one bedroom to yourself, each square foot is extremely precious. Your ping pong table is now your place for games, dinner, and work. 13. Personalize your utensils. So your kitchen isn't your dream kitchen yet, but easy and cheap DIY tricks like painting your utensil handles will add some color and lots of personality to the space. 14. Color code your stuff. Small spaces will instantly be overwhelmed if all your stuff is not in some sort of order. A simple trick like color coding will make your place feel more streamlined and tidy. 15. Invest in a cool coffee table. If you're living in a studio and lacking a kitchen table, pay more attention to your coffee table. It's probably where you'll be eating your meals. A glass like this one won't take up much space visually. Bonus points if you find one with storage. 16. Lightweight furniture is the way to go. You're probably going to be moving. A lot. And suddenly that sleigh bed might not seem like the best idea. Get this one that will be a lot less hassle for just $79 at Ikea. 17. Rugs and mats can drastically change a floor. Shitty laminate flooring? Massive red wine stain you need to hide? Rugs are an amazingly easy way to shift the attention away from the less than stellar aspects you may be working with at your place. 18. Think beyond picture frames. If you don't really have the money to spend on frames or don't really have anywhere to put them, this photo bookshelf is a great option. 19. Make it social. A 20-something's home is often filled with people, whether it's your parents visiting, friends getting ready to go out, or just you and your four roommates. Seats that face each other are more conducive to conversation. 20. Don't be too serious. You don't want your bedroom to look like it did when you were a teenager, but that doesn't mean you have to model your place like your parents' house either. Nix the bedroom set and spend your probably limited decorating fund on stuff you really love. 21. A DIY charging station will resolve the battles over outlets. If you're living with several roommates, you have lots of phones to charge. 
Stop fighting over the one accessible outlet in the living room and make this cheap charging station instead. 22. Not matching is okay. Eclectic stuff can totally come across as intentional, so just go with it. If you can find two dining chairs that match, mix the rest and it'll still flow. 23. This is the time to display all your stuff. As you get older, you'll probably live with a significant other and maybe kids too. But as a 20-something, you've got a lot more to say. Hang a bulletin board with cards, photographs, and magazine pullouts that make you smile. 24. Beautify your shower supplies. Does your bathroom look like the before photograph? Doubt so. Follow an easy tutorial to have it looking a lot more cohesive and organized. Just be sure to mark what's what. Check more info under this video. 25. Plants will make the space come alive. Plants make the space brighter and are a great practice in taking care of something other than yourself. You're likely to start feeling pretty fond of that little cactus on your windowsill. 26. Buy a bed frame first, then spend money on a headboard later. Or make your own. And 27. Make wall art that reminds you of home or where you're headed next. As a 20-something, you may no longer be in your home city or even state. This DIY map art is a fun way to display where you come from. And if you have yet to move, but aspire to, it's a great visual to keep you inspired. That's it! If you have something to say, please use the comment area below, and if you don't have a minute, press like, share, or the subscribe buttons available on the same area. Thank you so much for watching, and see you later!